lashes. I'm not gonna help you, but you can choose everything that I have here. And can I can I Google? No. I kind of feel like trolling Hui Shan and like just putting one of these in. She looks like a beta. This is like the salt water beta. Hey, mole. Whoa, I have never seen anything like that. Oh my lord, Thanos, what have you done? Never ever had like gravel of this size in my tank. I only have gravel of all of these size. Someone actually crushed one of these and it's between, it's been Tom and Thanos. Oh, Tom wants to bite my finger. Sick. That is sick, man. You're a beast, Thanos. Where is my manners guys? Hey, what is going on friends? Welcome back to another video. If you are new to the channel, my name is Ashley and I make new fish videos pretty often. So remember to smash the subscribe button and come join the family. So you guys know I'm a freshwater person, right? But I've been issued a challenge today. Before that, let's feed our fish. Whoa, dude, you mad. So this is Dr. Bessler's Biofish food. So nutrient dense that instead of feeding them multiple times a day, whoa, I feed them once a day. So I've been issued a challenge to set up a salt water tank. That's right, I've been challenged by the staff over at Specialized Aquatic Solutions. They challenged me, the SG Bearded Aquarius. So this is a two feet cube over here. How tough can it be? It's just a, it's just a salt water tank, you know, um, just set it up just like a fresh water, but with salt, I think, maybe. Hui Shan. So everyone meet Hui Shan. We shall meet everyone. Hello. I think you've met before. Okay, so what's the challenge? What's the oh, challenge? Oh, what's the catch? What's the catch? I told them. I told them challenge already. What's the catch to the challenge? The catch is I'm not gonna help you, but you can choose everything that I have here. So, so I have all these to play with. Yes. And can I can I Google? No. <laughs> so I'm gonna use only my my freshwater knowledge. Well, yeah, but I don't think it's too difficult for you, right? I don't think it's too difficult for you. Right? Nah. <laughs> exact measurements will be 580 by 520 mm. What okay. do you plan to put? <laughs> I haven't thought of it yet. But it's, it's gonna be nice. I, I promise it's gonna be nice. Okay. It's, great. it's gonna be great. That's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. That's gonna be great. Alright, so before we get started, I just want to make it super clear because I know what some of you are thinking. You probably think I'm gonna kill some fish, which is not the case. I'm gonna set this tank up with only fresh water knowledge and then afterwards Hui Shan is gonna check and inspect and then correct me, either pass or fail me, and I'll correct anything that is wrong before we put the fish in. Alright guys, so I'm gonna be completely honest. Um, I have no idea how to set up a saltwater tank. I'm gonna do it like a freshwater tank, but I'm gonna do like this just amplify everything like you know stronger filtration stronger everything and make sure it's okay and like I don't even know what this is like where does this go this is the overflow in it uh, flows underneath comes out and then eventually it'll get pumped out by this and come back out over here so I'm guessing we just need some kind of mechanical and biological filter all right guys I know this is a Salt water video, but check it out, man. Look at all that goldfish. So they have the whole freshwater section here. Oh, beautiful angelfish. Look at look at how red the eyes are. And those beautiful stripes. And the goldfish are just crazy. My plan is I'm just going to like study these uh display tanks over here, and so. That should be a wave maker over there. Um, filter, I guess, at the back. Looks pretty simple, right? Uh, we're gonna start over here. I think this would do. So this is some. Um, let's see. Let's 
synthetic filtration media. Alright, so I think one bag of this looks plenty. Uh, when it comes to filtration, it should probably be pretty standard among um, fresh water and salt water. So mechanical filtration is just to like take off all that um, gunk out of the water, make it clear. But clear water doesn't mean good water. We need to get rid of like ammonia and all of that, and that's where these biological filtration comes in. So we put this in, bacteria will grow on this and they will make sure that it converts our ammonia into nitrates. Bio pellets, NP reducing. I don't know what NP is, but you know what? This product looks uh, looks like I can trust it. It supposedly grows bacteria. So I'm just I'm just gonna put this in. I like this, you see it's like it totally got that like you can adjust where it where it blows. I'm gonna take one of these. Honestly I have no idea how to go about choosing lights but you know, just based purely on size, this looks like just nice. I hope this is marine. Yeah, I'll probably go for this. Mick Mall. I need to choose like what fish to go in. And honestly, I have no idea what fish can go together or what fish can fit inside a tank like that. So it's about, it's almost two feet by two feet. This is where I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need your guys' help, okay? Let me know. I'm just gonna like show you guys some fish that I think I wanna put in that looks like they can go in. And then I need you to tell me like which fish should I choose because I honestly have no idea. I can't Google, they're not gonna help me. So I'm gonna depend on you guys. Let me know which fish it is. Just tell me like if you don't know the name of the fish, just tell me the time and then uh, I will look at your guys' comments and I will decide. Alright, so these guys are probably too big. These guys look cool and it look like they will fit. If you guys think they should go in, comment down below. Um, fish one I think most of these will probably get too big I like this one over here so if you guys think this can go in and I should get this comment fish two all right how can we forget a classic dory I'm pretty sure dory can fit in I think so so if you guys want dory comment fish three the clown fish this is the classic clown fish if you think we should put in the clown fish comment fish five blue body with a red tail that's awesome Fish 6, if I should get that fish 6 Whoa, guys, check this out oh. It looks, it looks fake But I swear it's moving Okay, so we could, we could go for like more fancy varieties of the clownfish Oh, look at that These guys almost look like freshwater fish They look like tetras So small, they could totally go in like a school of this and like a clownfish and maybe like one of these I don't know, it's like really a good good mix of and over on this side we have more fancy ones oh wow, look at this color and this guy's over here thinking in terms of like fresh water like our mid and top dwellers and we need to find the bottom dwellers as well so it doesn't look um, um, like uh, boring at the bottom and I think, I think that one over there one over here is a pretty good fish for bottom dwellers I have no idea what they're called but they look small they will fit in a tank they look very peaceful so I want this to be a really a beginner beginner tank easy fishes to keep you know things that don't have aggression and all of that not as if I know how to choose but that's why it's up to you guys to help me and to choose and holy moly whoa I have never seen anything like that check it out guys look at this guy I'm, I'm pretty sure this is an angel fish just by the shape but look at that black stripe going down that's insane oh this one this is the jam tank in my, in my opinion I think this is one of the most beautiful saltwater fish I've, I've seen maybe this guy oh this, this is nice I don't know if it eventually get too big but I like the red on it I want this guy He's just gonna chill at the bottom and like Look at the eyes, he's just gonna be like stoning out there like Duh. Wow, look at that guys This, this is like It looks like a fighting fish, it looks like a beta This is like the salt water beta Should we get one of these? If, if, if we should comment salt water beta Guys I want this He got, it's, it's like it's like a box fish, almost like a puffer fish. I don't know if it's considered a puffer fish, but it's like it's got the, 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 the uniqueness of a puffer fish, but the design of the gem tank.
This, this too round for my liking. A bunch of rocks to choose. Um, driftwood rock, bit of a smaller rock in. Something like this to balance out. This good stuff, guys. So they even have driftwood over here for their like freshwater stuff. And I kind of feel like trolling Hui Shan and like just putting one of these in. It could actually be like the first people ever to put driftwood inside a saltwater tank. I'm gonna try it and I'm just gonna see how Hui Shan reacts because. I don't know, maybe maybe we're onto something here. Maybe we're, it's gonna it's gonna become a thing and then people are gonna start like putting driftwood inside their saltwater tank. I know it makes no sense, but you know what? That's how that's how that's how revolution is done, you know. You got you gotta try and innovate and create new ideas. This is it right here. Guys, check out this huge thing. So those of you who have watched the tour before, you've already seen this. But wow, that's crazy. And look at look at all the beautiful corals inside. It's huge. I was wondering whether I need to like rinse out our sand and this is pretty cool. It says it's easy, no rinsing, just pour in. Alright, I knew I could trust you guys. Right, moment of truth. And all right, it's taking forever to come up. That's more like it. Double. Are you guys ready to see the end result? Ta da! All right, this time's for real, guys. Look at that. It's so much nicer now. So I added it, this extra rock, and it like creates this sort of like a cave. We still got our little driftwood over here, and all I have left now is to fill up this thing with water. One eternity later. I think we'll just take this red sea salt. Use RO water, okay? We used RO water. Um, we're gonna add the correct dosage of salt and then like mix vigorously until all the salt is dissolved and pH stabilized to like 8.2 to 8.5. So we like Salinity, SPS dominant versus like this marine fish. I'll just shoot for something like I'll just shoot for this in between. So welcome to the worst salt mixing you've ever seen in your life. A few moments later. All right, guys. I basically tested the refractometer. Uh, I think you probably can't see inside, but basically it's zero. So I'm gonna add a whole lot more of this inside. So when we look in, oh, let's see if we can get it. Alright, so my salinity is still at zero which is kind of weird. I think it's because the salt will probably take, I don't know, a couple of hours to dissolve. So uh, I put in a lot really as you guys have seen so I think that by tomorrow when I come back it might even be overdone so the tank is done let's roll some cinematic bureau footage Tomorrow I'll come back, she'll do an inspection and she's gonna either pass me or fail me. Can marine fish survive in a tank that I set up? If you guys enjoy videos like this and you wanna see me set up more aquariums elsewhere, freshwater ones, I got probably the biggest tank you might have ever seen. If you guys wanna see that, don't forget to like this video if you like this kind of content. Subscribe so you know when the next video is coming out and if not, I will see you in the next video. Bear down. Oh my god, what did you do? Did you hide something under the sand? Actually, I thought you went to the toilet. <laughs>